Yeah, at actually, least... that's the first time I was watching it too. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like. I, I've always like. I've always liked John Cena and anything yeah, he really yeah. plays. I always think he's funny. Um, I think he's a pretty funny guy for sure. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to check it out. See what they're gonna do with that. I just it is kind of weird that you know it is that they're doing a show on this character, I guess, because he's not. I mean, that popular. Because you know, I don't really. I mean, I guess he's not Batman, so. That's all they do, Batman, everything. But, um, but yeah, I, I don't really know too much about Peacemaker and what he's all about. Um, so I'm curious about what the, yeah, what this gonna, what the show's gonna do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and how absolutely. it's gonna, you know, connect to the, all this like already kind of convoluted DCEU already. That's if they're kinda... smart, they'll ignore everything. They'll just pretend <laughs> that nothing else exists and stay as far away from. It's like if they're intelligent, that's what they know. I'm just being salty. Uh, I think that there's a uh, a lot to be said about this because one Peacemaker is like one of those C-list characters. Not even a B-list character. A C-list character. Um, and I actually think those are some of the best characters for the uh, the movies and like reinventing into television shows because they don't have that much to them. There's a lot of growth and play and not these heavy kind of obstinate fan bases that are so opposed to change that any little difference will make them cry in the forums. So I, I think it'll be a good one. I'm also interested to see how it goes. I think, like I said, the best thing they could do is, and not to say like ignore it in the sense of like, Oh, well the whole, just like, it, avoid talking about it if you don't have to, right? If it's not that big of an issue to connect it, drop some hints, right? Some very, like, generous uh, abstract hints of, like, the Justice League. Like, things that are universal, right? Like, that you don't need to see a face and have a specific actor for the Flash, right? You could just be Red Blur in the comic books or all these little nods. Um, and then when the DC does fully get its act together it can you know move into uh connecting more heavily that's what i'm gonna guess but otherwise i don't know right yeah we'll see what happens there um Absolutely. yeah so far the trailer looked pretty cool yeah. um i mean it, it still reminds funny. me kind of like a pete that peacemaker that we got from the suicide squad no. yeah yeah um well i think james gunn is directing the show too that's what I was gonna ask. I wonder if he's still doing the. I think the he's show doing here. the. Sh I think he's do doing the show as well. Are well, you looking that up too? Yeah. I was just seeing there. There was only a few things that really happened this week, but uh, one of the bigger things was that we're gonna get the last. I guess they're not releasing any more uh, Super Smash Brother characters. The last one they said was the finale was, uh, which is a pretty good one. I'm actually gonna say was Sora from Kingdom Hearts. That is a good one. That is so, a good addition. And on top of that, we're getting, I guess, since they said they're going to announce that, they also announced that they're going to be taking all the Kingdom Hearts games uh, to the Switch as well now. So I guess that was a good uh, teaser or drop to drop all of Sora and Kingdom Hearts related stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously, you know, it's one of those oh. things that's like, yeah, they did that on purpose, you know. Uh, it's <laughs> it's Well, it's the same thing with Shang-Chi, right? Like, Shang-Chi dropped last month or whatever, and... For a year before it dropped, they were releasing comics with him. They were putting him in more of the video games, like everything. You know what I mean? It was, it was planned marketing very much. You know, uh, I do. I do think that uh, Smash does well on their like additions. You know what I mean? Every time we come in, we basically get a, a couple new. Yeah choices even so, if they don't some, pass over yeah i'm glad that they picked this it, but it always seems to be uh always people always make fun of it but like why is it always a sword type based character <laughs> is the like, uh, i mean the only one that isn't really i could think of was banjo and kazooie was uh one of their most unique characters that they've done but the like, last few ones was like they all had uh swords <laughs> and i guess yeah. this is kind of like a sword but it's a keyblade <laughs> but still i hope they do some really cool stuff and we'll get i think the trailer already came out so i've actually seen it yet so but uh well, i hope they see uh see some really cool moves and some unique stuff to the game that they're gonna bring i know they will they always do a good job of kind of meshing these kind of different characters to work together in a fighting game <laughs> yeah i will say like i said smash is one of those games it, it's also good because it's kind of an open open ish format game where it's like 
you, there's only one th- one thing with Smash, right? You fight on the stage, and then the rest of the gameplay is about making that fun. You know what I mean? It's not like a big super 3D world that needs like a, a ton of art, you know, uh, NPC interactions and dialogue. It's just a nice old fashioned kind of like Mortal Kombat in the old days. Mm-hmm. Where it was, it was really just like beat the crap out of people, right? Like there was no big story or anything behind it, and it was, and because of that, they got to focus on the mechanics of the game and making the mechanics really fun to play and good and pretty consistent. So I think Smash is like really good. I never worry about a Smash game. You know what I mean? It's one of those like, yeah, get out of jail always, free games. Always a yeah, fun game to pick yeah. up and play with everyone. Absolutely. Um, what was I going to say about some other video games? I feel like I was going to bring up another one. Um, I know they just did another um, showcase or whatever the other day. Or I thought I saw yeah, something. Yeah, that's what, that might have been it. Yeah, that they were showing off a little bit on that. Um, I know you said you got to see uh, Shang-Chi, and then uh, that one was pretty good. Like I said, I really enjoyed that movie. It really... Um, like I said, I always just feel so unique to watch a Marvel movie because they're always their own kind of thing. But yeah, uh, Venom I think was a good one as well too. It was a good popcorn fi- uh, flick movie yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I, uh, my, my I wasn't only... trying to take it too serious. Yeah. Because you know, again, they they really messed it up with since you know since they couldn't do Spider Man since the beginning and right the whole what... origin story is just kind of jacked up. It's like ah, I guess I'll take it as it is. It's just its own universal. Here's my thing. Venom. It's it's always the the twofold, right? All right, either. You got you got two options when writing an adaption. One, fuck the script, and basically uh, uh, the character's all I want, right? Like, boom, and I'm going to change everything else and even some of the character stuff. And then the other end of the extreme is I'm changing nothing. This is going to be a 100% adaption with no changes. All the scenes will be the same. All the lines will be the same. All the acting, right, will be this. It'll be the same plot, same story, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not going to lie, out of the two versions of those movies for the same subject, I'd rather watch the totally different one. Because I've, I've read the book. And while I want to see it brought to life in a meaningful and, and engaging way, if it's so similar to the book that, I'm, that it's line for line every minute and it's, the shots aren't doing interesting things with the movies, right? It's panel for panel. That's just going to get boring. Because you know exactly what's going to happen. So I, I don't, and don't get me wrong, like, comic accuracy is still important on keeping, like, the basis of a character, right? Like, you can't make Batman poor. It's just not going to work. It's not going to work. Then then he's just Moon Knight. No, I'm just kidding. Moon Knight's rich, too. <laughs> um, and so, like, whenever people are like, oh, it's so different from the comics, and it, that makes us, like, that's not a good reason for it to be bad. Like, different, and not maybe comic accurate, sure, but, like, it was that whole argument of Death Note, right, that we had, where it's, it's, it's like, as far as accuracy, that movie's the live-action English version, garbage, trash. It was made in a burning fire. <laughs> but if you're not comparing it to the original one and don't have the context of that story adaption, it's a man movie. It's just a, yeah. it's just a man movie. So, I don't know. I, so, like, for that one, like you said, I wasn't worried at all for, like, continuity this this time. One, we'd already, like, skipped around and gotten, like, I forgot who they made the villain last time. Uh, uh, it was one of the Leaf Life Foundations. And yeah. Was, it was, yeah. like, Phage or one of them. Uh, it wasn't um, Phage, but it was one of them. Um, I can't remember. It was G? Grit? I don't know. I don't remember. It's funny, too, because then they brought Screech back for this one. So... That was that was cool. Well, not back, but you know, from the kind of like same life foundation run, and then it it was cool. It was cool to see, the, and that's my thing. Even though the story was wildly different than the original origin story of Carnage, I mean, really, not even that wildly different in some ways. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much yeah, the same. It's just wasn't that you know he was in jail with him at this right. That's time. that's the only big difference. Well, I guess there could be like. There, there are slight so, differences, but some of them are actually better. So, like, before, he was only obsessed with Eddie because Eddie was the one with the symbiote and he was his cellmate. Whereas, I feel like the movie gave him a very good, like, reason. Did. I was a little... 
There was some parts where I felt like they kind of made him a little too human a little bit sometimes. Absolutely. It, it, I, to me, Cleus Cassidy is, he just, he just playing out crazy, doesn't care. Yeah. He, he, I don't, I have no, mem or, you know, remorse or anything for yeah. what I do. There is no, you know, I had such a bad store, a bad, you know, back life and everything, but you know what? I don't really care because I like it. <laughs> right. So it's, it's like, um, I don't know. To me, that's kind of like I, uh, Cassidy to me is, but the, they kind of, you know, that scene where he was talking about his mom and he's like, you know, you know why it turned out like this is because they did this to me and did that, which I know makes sense, but like he kind of made, you know, again, it kind of made him, he sound like you know he was it was i definitely humanized his character more but again that's first for the movies you know you can't it was i mean right. i guess it maybe wasn't transitioned to well, well one and too psychotic one, yeah well one we won't talk about the the bad writing in marvel comics for that so someone crazy like carnage would never love shriek Right? You couldn't love anybody. He doesn't care. He's in yeah, and that's another thing. It's like almost like a Joker kind of but, thing, you know? Like he, he's yeah. almost like, you know, he, he does like kind of play the part like I like that person, but like I really don't actually. Yeah, <laughs> and so the whole... Them. They do what I want them to do. <laughs> yeah, and so the whole basis for even the original relationship is not well made, but I'm glad they at least kept it in there. And that's, the, no, and that's, that's cool. Yeah, no, that was a yeah. little cool nod to have right, there too right. as well. And I think that's the most important thing is not the... Once again, the uh, the exact right being exactly right or being, but getting the feeling across, right? Getting the right message of the characters. I do think Carnage was definitely toned down for this movie a, a lot. This was PG thirteen. Yeah, so too. like th that know, was. How did they slip that that F uh, bomb in there? I thought F bomb. You get one. R rated. No, you get one. Oh, you only get one? No, you get okay, one you get per one movie. And that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you Before get one F bomb that. every PG 13 movie. I believe. <laughs> I, I could be that. wrong, and maybe that's a rumor, but I believe you get a single F bomb per movie for PG 13. Um, but yeah, and I, I mean, I knew when it was PG 13 that it was not going to live up to what we needed Carnage Another to thing, be. I guess that I kind of was upset too is like that. I really do want like that R rated Venom movie. Just like, you know, we've, we've gotten that R rated Blade movie, and those turned out. I mean, pretty great. The first one, at least. I still like the second one, too, Guillermo de Terrell's. The third one can be right. sometimes a little questionable sometimes, but... You know, uh, relatively I, I, speaking, they're all still better than the second Thor movie, so... <laughs> so. But those turned out great, you know? They yeah. were R-rated movies. They were great. They were very gritty. Yeah. Uh, everything, it just it felt like Blade, you know, when you really yeah. watch those and, movies. And all I got to say about that is it's really on Sony for most of that because Venom is their project, yeah, uh, right. So, and which and is even just funnier, like, yeah, I guess, money because you know. But but they did Deadpool. Like, that's Deadpool another thing did I great. Don't so that's why I don't know. Well, well actually, Deadpool actually was Fox, I believe. Was it? Oh, it was yeah. Fox. And so Fox, so I maybe guess, that's took the right. risk and, and said, "Yeah, let's it. go ahead and do the." But right. and then Ryan would... Reynolds too said, "You know, he really kept pushing for that." Uh, I think he also was the one that really helped oh, yeah, to absolutely. really make Deadpool what it was because yeah. he just kept saying, "It's got to be the R rated. Well, yeah. I'm not going to do it. It's got to be this or do that." And uh, so I'm really, I guess you know, we don't have uh, Ryan Reynolds on Venom to be going on there pushing, yeah. pushing There's... executives to be yeah, like, we "No, don't... can't be like that." Yeah. Tom Hardy's not on there saying, no, I need to be cursing and tearing people's heads in half and, like, get out of my way. No, but I, I get it. And to be fair, you know, uh, like you said, without Ryan Reynolds, there wouldn't be a Deadpool franchise, period. Like, movie-wise, it just... I, I, I'll say that with no reservations or hesitation. Like, especially seeing how hard it is to get offshoots for characters like these, such when they're trying to do a Gambit movie, trying to do all these other movies that actors I, were no, excited really invested about. invested in, yeah. yeah and but not didn't. invested enough to do what Ryan Reynolds yeah, did, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And really put I mean, even like uh, film or, you know, uh, test films. And oh, I mean, he did, them, he know, put like... money in, he took pay cuts, <laughs> they did all kinds of stuff to get that uh, movie made. You know what I mean? It was not a small... That, and that's why I say, like, I, I have no... And granted, there are tons of other people, I'm sure, help, helped make that a reality oh, and a possibility. But without Ryan Reynolds, you know, take him out of the equation, didn't ha it wouldn't have happened. Um, and once again, it was a big risk. I mean, somewhat similar into the way, but, but once again, we just have so many now historical examples of proof of concept, right? Joker, one of, not one of the most profitable by margin comic book movie of all time period 
Deadpool, second most profitable comic book movie by margin of input to output. Yeah, I wonder what Blade fits onto that. I mean, Blade, mm. you know, saved the Marvel. You know, it the it made a lot of money, but I don't know how much Blade made to cost off the yeah, top I'm, of my I'm head. I'm curious about that one. I think the original um, one probably made pretty good. You money. know, I was watching some, because uh, I actually just watched Blade not too long ago, and, uh, it's, it's you know, it's, just, it's still a pretty good movie. I still love yeah. it, but um, I was watching some of uh, the deleted scenes or some of the things that, you know, they were trying to come up with a different ending, and, uh, they were kind of going to do like this weird blob looking blood monster. Yeah. And it, I mean, it was test footage, but still they were like, yeah, this isn't going to work, bro. I'm glad they didn't because the VFX of the time would not have worked. Yeah, but no, that is yeah. comic accurate. So no. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. I mean, that maybe was now they if they did too. it, maybe it would look better. They could have done some really cooler things. But uh, yeah, at that time and age, yeah, just was not they couldn't do anything yeah. as good. It just didn't look good on screen. And also what's funny is, too, there was a, a different ending a, 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 towards the very, very end. They they show uh, Morbius at the end. Mm hmm. And that's yep. kind of where it ends there, and that's where it was supposed to. But then they did the Russian ending, where he goes, you know, back to Russia and starts yeah. killing vampires there. But um, yeah, it was just really cool, you know, see how they kind of would have went with it. But it's kind of, I guess. Oh yeah, I mean, it's um, kind of like seeing when the test footage of Chris Farley is Shrek. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it didn't know, happen, cool. and maybe yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have been the better choice. But it's just cool right. idea to know that that was a possibility. Right, um, right. I, or, you know, I think Mike Myers, yeah, did, did the better strike just because he does like more of like what uh, Jimmy Jim Carrey can do. You know, he does different voices, like, yeah. voices of it. You know, in his acting and this, yeah. Chris Farley's funny, but he would have just been Chris. <laughs> yeah, it would have been Chris Farley <laughs> as Shrek, right? It wouldn't have been Shrek. Yeah. Um, and no offense to to the late and great Chris no, Farley. Just not. saying, I still love his movies. Yeah, absolutely. And and the same thing for like seeing Tom Hiddleston audition for Thor. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously not the position he got, and in my opinion, obviously not the position he should have got. So good thing. But it's just funny to see him really in the blonde wig. On that role yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really yeah. enjoyed it and loved it ever yeah. since. So. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, just having seen him audition for Thor was hilarious. Uh, what else do we got? I know, um, I did want to touch on it. I don't know if you checked it out or heard about it. I'm sure you've heard about it because it's all over the internet and apparently blah, blah, blah. Netflix is most viewed blah, blah, blah. But, uh, Squid Game is basically blowing I up. Watch it. I watched it. I actually wanted to watch it before it even started blowing up because I had seen it. I'd with, seen uh, a couple. The... Yeah, it's it looked interesting. Yeah, I've, I've been saying, you know, I, who was saying something? I think Korea said they had to actually shut some yes, like so shut down. things down they were getting actually no they were getting mad at netflix or suing them or so i can't remember because because they, they were shutting were using down. so much and it was because it's good game <laughs> so um yeah i i really wanted to check it out because yeah everyone's talking about it now so i wanted to see what this is all about uh, um I, I won't like spoil anything what i will say is um i think it's well made a little artsy for my taste in some places. The Korean all the way, right? There's no yeah. like it's uh, okay, there's yeah. there's a very tiny, tiny morsel of English in there, but not even enough to say okay. there's English yeah, in it. I'll probably watch it in Korean because I don't really I, like when they do dubbed English on those kind of things because it really yeah. does look best. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, it does. I well, and my thing is, and no offense once again to dubbers, but in general, especially in the past less so today now in anime, but still more so in most dubbing and subbing. These aren't people who are getting paid a ton of money to do this. Yeah. They're, they're probably getting paid 15 bucks an hour to walk into the studio and record these lines. Um, right. They're And they're putting that much effort into the lines a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And then some of yeah. them be great. I'm not trying to say that they're all bad. I'm just saying that's the general level and that's how what you get on uh, yeah. the dubs. The subs... Oh. Uh, I will say it's like when I, I actually was my pops was watching it later and my uh, little brother were watching it on their own while I was walking around uh -huh. and uh, they had watched it in English. It wasn't too bad because of the the way it's, I think, structured. But okay. uh, I do think they messed up on one specific part. They got everything else, but they missed one song that's very important to have that I would tell anybody who's watching at home. You should absolutely at least watch uh the end half of episode one or the like the last 15 minutes or whatever i think in korean even if you prefer english it's not a heavy talking scene and the and the music they cut from the score 
is detrimental to the oh to really the they yeah that they cut and I know why they did because it's a Korean song in Korean, uh, but it. Th- you would think though they would just like eh, I say I, just keep it in Korean I and could, just leave it like that. <laughs> I could I but, un, I I won't I don't want to spoil it so I'm not gonna explain I I understand I kind of why yeah. see exactly yeah, it's, why. yeah it's pretty good I um, I think it's like nine episodes about forty to a, you know hour like one oh, of those okay, yeah. so it's it's Normal not super Netflix long yeah. is... um and it's pretty good I don't know if it's like world shattering good um but I'm familiar with the style but you finished it all so far oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I binged it real quick, and I kind of moved through some of the slower parts. It's a it, uh, little bit of speed, but just because once again, it, this isn't a new um, medium for me. Like the, it's cool. I think this one's cool because realistically, in like pop culture media, I don't think there is a single, maybe a couple, but very few that you could plop down to this uh, specific genre or whatever. Oh, that and, cliche. Yeah, it's it's not very cliche. It's very somewhat fresh, but only kind of in is, okay. But only in Which major is hard pop nowadays, culture. you know. Yeah, Everything yeah. I was watching, even Netflix has. Uh, uh, you should check it out too. But it was about Hollywood cliches, and it was interesting because you're They're like, every- wow, you know, that really does happen a lot in movies, <laughs> and some of them are so cliche they're like, like even necessary. like like the, the funeral scenes you know like yeah. you know how when they always somebody dies they're always like has to do that out view of somebody watching but what i thought was really funny was that they brought fast and the furious up right and they were like but fast and the furious took it up a next step up they had paul walker looking at the funeral from above but then from above him was also van diesel watching him watching the funeral <laughs> <laughs> that was like oh no my yeah gosh. i mean there's so many of them and once again so oh, the, the other one too the famous you know scream that everyone hears which, oh the wilhelm the, yeah yeah that, that's yeah. it yeah yeah that which, one's absolutely that's a sound like, kind of like an yeah. inside joke for directors and everyone now this yep point. uh yeah no it's uh and the funny part is the if you don't know the reason behind that yeah well they actually yeah they explained it and it was really funny how they kind of they did well. I guess at first it was just a regular dude. He was a he was a cowboy. They recorded it. Boom. Okay, done. But then I guess there was another movie that said, "Okay, we're gonna take that noise and pitch it up a little bit more." <laughs> well, it wasn't just that. So the the they didn't. And the only reason I know is it was part of my quick, like the documentary. So they probably didn't explain. No, fully no, no. I I figured thing, they but... wouldn't because once again, the only reason I know is it was part of our sound design shit, which was oh, like. Nice. Uh, for like movies and TV and shit, which it was cool. It was a great fun class. But the reason the Wilhelm scream was used is that for a very, very long time, there was a limited set of sound effects for movies. And almost all oh. of them came from Abbey Road right next to the oh, <laughs> studios. Okay. And so everybody had to use the same sound effects for a scream because they didn't have high quality recording yeah, equipment. Least, yeah. Yeah. And okay, then, okay. And, and so then the, the trick was you ended up getting these pitches and these things and you'd get it like effects thrown on like the old uh, choristers. So you'd get like, it was, it was, it was such a thing. And it, it, even to the point there where if you look into movies around the same time as Star Wars for like five years after, listen for the special effects of lasers, ships, right. a- everything else. It's, it's very similar. Um, oh, and listen for the, the that scream as well. Oh yeah, the, the do it. That, and <laughs> that is just forever now, and not just in like similar things. Like the Wilhelm scream has been. I use the Wilhelm scream all the time, all the time, because it's so funny. One, it's an it's like a, a little inside joke, and two, yeah. it's actually a hilarious scream. Like to listen to it, he sounds hilarious dying. That's like falling off that thing and dying. No, but the the Wilhelm scream. That's awesome though. There's a there's a couple other cliches. Um, like uh, punching in movies is another big one or like sound stuff. They have a lot of cliche sound stuff in movies too, where it's like, you need to do this in a movie because they always do this in a movie. Yeah. He talked about the mirrors too. Yeah. There was a cool, you check it out there. It was interesting to watch it. Uh, there's a couple of cool things I watched on Netflix this uh, week was, um, I think it was a new horror film called no one gets out alive. I think uh, that I was interesting. That. I didn't, sorry. Uh, I didn't see it. I saw some, Ads for yeah it. check it out check it out it was interesting i enjoyed it for what it was um little creature feature at the end um the other one i really enjoyed though was J- uh, james wan's uh malignant 
um, yeah, that I came out on HBO Max and in theaters is too. That was actually very interesting. I just like I like always interesting and different takes of on horror films, and I always feel like James Wan always does a pretty good job of like creating something new and unique for his films. Um, well, this yeah. one especially, I guess if I was really paying attention, I guess you kind of really would have figured it out towards the end already, but I kind of just uh, let it let the film be as it was, and I really liked the ending. It was pretty cool. It was, you know, I liked to have for what it was. <laughs> I got to say this, and, and this is my problem as a watcher, is like I spend too much time like paying attention instead of enjoying the ride. Like, yeah. half of the movies, like, I watch, and I'm just like, these would be really good if I could just shut my brain off and stop questioning things that are happening, <laughs> and, like, and sometimes, like, and that's where I kind of try to draw a line, is, like, if it's me, where I'm, like, nitpicking, and I know I'm nitpicking, I'm like, alright, that's, I'm gonna brush it off, but if it's something that's, like, so big, where I was just, like, threw my hands up, I was like, alright, well, that just, like, literally pulls me out of the movie, that's not me, like, questioning, that was, like, a question that I, like, would have had from the movie, um... But no, I think James Wan, in general, just does a good job with pretty much all of his movies. Uh, I mean, you could trace a lot of really good movies back to him, so it's not too surprising. Definitely. I mean, this, his start off career was with Saw, so I mean, yeah. everyone knows that one for sure with all his stuff. Uh, I believe he did all the Conjuring stuff, Insidious. Yeah, I mean, he's done a bunch um, of a bunch so of many good, good stuff. stuff. Yeah, he's, definitely. he's also um, been a producer. Uh, I think producer he's supposed to do Aquaman 2 as well. Or not Aquaman. Was Aquaman too? I think he's I doing. He, was, he did the he Aquaman. Doing, he was doing like that. No, no, no. He's he, supposed to do like yeah. Those, he's uh, he's producing it. The, But I heard they're scrapping that idea now. And I I don't know because he's got two of them. He's got Aquaman King of Atlantis, which is a TV miniseries, and then he's got Aquaman oh, and the Lost Kingdom. Is that the is that the cartoon? Did you see the cartoon that they're coming out with? I didn't. For Aquaman. I did. Look, just look up Aquaman cartoon show. And, oh man! Oh my gosh, man! It does. You know what? Actually, maybe I. You They're know what? Using the same animators that did the Thundercats, and that we all know how that did. That did not last. Oh, I did. All. I did see this. I <laughs> forgot about it. It was so bad. Yeah, I literally they, erased I, I it from uh, my I memory. Guess those guys that ran out of a job, and they're like, "Oh, we'll take you." <laughs> But it's not good, bro. I don't like their style of art. It just really, honestly, I'm sorry, but it just feels so cheap and lazy. Here's, here's the thing. I'm not even, it, it, even beyond that, there's that whole thing of art and style, right? Like, or character. Yeah, right. Do it, do, um, I don't know, like a, a silly ass character for that. Like any, pick any cartoon character in that style, like a cartoon original it's at least match, right? The style of whimsical, round, soft. But you can't put the Punisher or Batman in that style. And, like, you can't pick that Aquaman that they chose to depict in that style as that, right? Like, you could do soft 60s Aquaman like that. They chose yeah, yeah. Jason Momoa. Yeah, but they chose Jason Momoa fucking <laughs> blue hair Aquaman for whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, I, I do agree. I don't like that style personally. I think it looks bad. Um, but well, they, yeah, they they really I got think a it's lot just, of shit when they I think it's the affordable. Thundercats because yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'll tell you, I did kind of like Thundercats. It was cool. They was had some comedic stuff there, but I just didn't like the style of it through the whole way through. And then eventually, it did get kind of get like okay. I don't like this Thundercats thing. <laughs> it was good for like maybe one, two, three episodes, but this is starting. To, I, I'm, I don't know. It, it was it okay happens, for a while. Man. This and is it, it, yeah. they. You know they try to go the Teen Ten, the Titans Go route, but I just don't think they really executed it very well of doing it that way. I just um, yeah. I don't think that would have worked for them anyway. They're they don't no, have the same fan base. Yeah. Age. No, yeah. I feel like Thundercats are a little bit like I Teen Time Go. I feel like you can kind of mess with them because you know they they've done you know kid kid comics for them and all that stuff too. They're not always the dark and moody <laughs> yeah, yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. So, but with Thundercats. Yeah, you got to be a little bit more serious with that kind of yeah that e property. <laughs> even with even beyond properties, I think properties is a problem too. But even beyond that, like once again, the age of people reading, right? All right, and so that too. Yeah, you're 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 appealing to. I know you want to appeal to a newer generation, but like you still have a lot of those '80s fans that are well, really wanting, like you know. And th and that's my problem. Cool. <laughs> so like speaking realistically, right? Like Teen Titans watchers don't really like a couple. Maybe no, like no, me I, and you, but yeah, I, Teen Titans do not 
Teen Titans watchers, the original show watchers, do not watch Teen Titans. However, maybe they got a good conclusion, and yeah, then maybe, but... towards the first, like, you know, because uh, did it really end off like on an actual good note? That's that uh, show. I don't even know. I didn't even know if it ended yet. I don't. Last I don't... time I checked, it was still going. Because it was still no, going sorry, after I, the movie or the original Teen Titans. Yeah, sorry, the original. Yeah, I don't. I they never finished I think, it. I don't think it actually ended off on a good note. They just didn't finish it. They, yeah, they, I remember, it was just maybe left if open. it did, maybe people would have been complaining so much because they'd be like, "Oh, I don't, well, it doesn't matter. Our show's our show." I think they'd completed. be happier, but I think they I think they'd be happier because I think they're mad because theirs isn't completed and this yeah, one right. is going. That's what I'm try- yeah, exactly. But I'm to say, yeah, but yeah, I I think they'd still be bitching about it because it would be a. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, and what, remake. don't touch but, it. <laughs> but yeah, the, the point is we don't, right? We, the original Teen Titans watchers, don't watch Teen Titans Go, really. Yeah. With some exceptions. But our kids might. And that's kind of, I think, where I fall into line of, like, where I watch it because Isaiah does enjoy it's, it. I mean, he doesn't exactly. watch it as much anymore, but... Uh, but he, he did you know, as we a used little to watch kid. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. We used to no, watch yeah. it, so it was enjoyable. And that makes sense. So that works because, right, me and you, uh, and and relatively speaking, people of a similar age group to have watched the however many years Teen Titans was coming out are all at the age right now to have kids or have had kids and be raising them, which means that it's a good idea to target generational marketing, right? Where it's like, okay, yeah. well, their parents like this and they might not like the new thing, but they will let their kids watch it if their kids like it. Yeah. And and they might yeah, buy into exactly. right you know it's a little it's a it's a slight mic market marketing strategy but it's a good one, whereas the same cannot be said of the Thundercats fans. The Thundercats fans are from the '80s, almost exclusively all of their kids by the time the show was this the new Thundercats came out were about 20 years old probably. Yeah, or, or not watching it with their kids. Definitely. They were That's no for sure. and and. <laughs> With some exceptions, you're probably not watching TV all the time with your grandkids. Sometimes, like I did with my grandma, I used to watch like Power Rangers and some other crap. But uh, I'm watching Predator with my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> my my grandma was uh, very old school, very religious. Did not like watching uh, stuff like that. She she really didn't even like watching the Power Rangers stuff. She's like, it's too much violence. We should go watch yeah, a western. I know, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> so then she's like, let's go watch a western. I was like, they're shooting people, Grandma. <laughs> right, Grandma, they're killing people. They he said he got him two times in the heart. <laughs> in the is head he too. is he dead, Grandma? No, he's just sleeping. He's sleeping. Look, look, look. They put a blanket over him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it it really was like that, and so. Once again, marketing wise, it's it's not as an effective strategy just yeah. on base logistics. So it still could work, theoretically, right? If kids like it, they'll still like it and watch it. But once once again, when you couple that fact with the 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 art style, which is even worse than Teen Titans Go, somehow. Oh my gosh, man, it was bad. Like I. It I looks know bad, they're yeah. trying to go for like this more cheaper route with everything, but like that was. Woo-hoo. Here's here's I the thing that I don't know. I can't. I can't. I know they try to say it's a style, but like it's. I don't know. Here's the it thing that kills me. It, like if, you said, it, it it only works with certain things, you know. Yes. Like, but it, it just doesn't go with that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Once again, I it, they, they need to find things. their spot of what either that like create something new with your style that would match it, or I guess yeah, try to find something that does match it. Right, like. You know, I think would do all right in their style would be something for like, uh, I don't know. Um, shit, I can't even think off of the top of my head something I would give that style to. <laughs> uh, you know what would be good for that is something like a um, marine. Uh, what was what, 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 uh, no, you know what I would say. I you know would be good. It would be a good show for. You ever remember that show? Uh... The snorkels and snorks. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I do the little the, the yeah, yeah, thing yeah, on yeah, their yeah, head. Yeah. God, that's an old one, bro. That's like a sixties. <laughs> but that that would work for them. That I absolutely agree. And actually, most I think most of the boomerang cartoons. Smurfs. Would I would, do, I would right. watch Smurfs maybe yeah. in that style. I don't know if I'd do some of the other ones, but I think the stuff like on Boomerang would, in general, like half of it would be pretty good. I was thinking like a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy spinoff for for. Uh, yeah, that would be SpongeBob good. Yeah, would be that, right yeah, yeah, I would. I could see that. So you know, I think they just need to find their niche. It's not. It's not this. That's for sure. 
That's get all away I from say. Aquaman and Thundercats. Just get away from serious <laughs> titles. And, like, it's yeah. rough to say that with Aquaman, right? Like, it's like, oh, Aquaman, serious titles. Like, but, yeah, like, much as he is kind of this joke character of the Justice League, he's still part of the Justice League. He's a serious character, right? He did, he's, he's a superhero. He's, he's got to be a bit serious. Um... It's- but yeah, that's, um, well, let's that's see. So cool. I was gonna say, I know I was gonna tell people definitely if you haven't seen Venom, definitely go check it out because um, there's gonna be spoilers a lot for the end uh, credits, and that's the one everyone's really talking yes, about right now. For like, it. yeah, um, I'm so glad I went. So yeah, early. definitely go see if you haven't because uh, you'll probably most likely get spoiled. By You're gonna get this spoiled. Week. <laughs> oh my god! And like, it's so easy to have. I can't remember what I got spoiled on. It, oh, it was the um. What was it? I don't remember. There was something I got spoiled on recently where I literally waited like a day and got spoiled. And I was like, internet. <laughs> I was watching Seinfeld the other day, too, because it's on Netflix. They got all the nine seasons. I, I've oh, always really enjoyed Seinfeld. I always thought they were pretty good, funny episodes. Yeah. But um, <laughs> he was trying to record the game. And the guy, Kramer, comes in. He's like, wow, did you see them lose that game? It was great. He's like, I just recorded it. I just came back. I was going to watch it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun of, uh, yeah, that's the evolution. of We went from being, uh, uh, you know, teased on your DVR to now uh, being, uh, you know, on your Facebook now or on your Instagram or uh, Twitter. Or anything. <laughs> it's so bad. I almost can't go on like, cause I just watch all this different shit for the channel and stuff. So it's like, all right, well, if I want to get it, I got to have a fresh reaction. And it was like, why I wanted to wait for Shang Chi. But then they're like, yeah, we're not going to release it online till November. And I was like, yeah, I well, already got to, they didn't really do too much. I, they did at the end credits too, but it wasn't like, you know, a big one. We were like, Oh, I got to no, go see no, this. No, no, no. It was mostly <laughs> self. It was but mostly it was, self. It, it was good. Yeah. 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 It, it oh, so good. what did you think about the, I did tell you, remember, cause I told you you were going to be excited about a character that came back. Were you, I, were you, I thought were was you pleased? Cool. I was pleased. I, uh, I wasn't I really surprised because that, 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 like, they, cause they brought that was one of those ones they had spoiled even before the movie released was that he was going to have a reappearance. I didn't, but see, it was I didn't cool even one. know that until I, until I came. I guess I just wasn't you know paying attention it too was much just in one of the, Yeah, it was just in one of those press releases or some shit that I, that I happened to see. It's like Mandarin ah, okay. reappearing in this. It didn't say how he'd reappear. It just was like, yeah, he's coming back ah. as Trevor. Which, it was cool to see him. I like where they put him. I love his little sidekick. His little sidekick was awesome. Mar- what was it called? Mar- uh, Maurice? Maurice? Was it? I think Maurice. it was Maurice. Yeah, I think it was Maurice, I think. Yeah. But, but that was, yeah, it was cool. Where's his face? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> He's really sensitive about that. <laughs> I thought, yeah, they really did a good job of uh, bringing him back yeah. in and uh, just kind of making that fun, but like just saying like, yeah, haha, ha, we know we, we you know we know we messed up, but you know here he is again. <laughs> I mean, I think they do good at that. I think I think it's important for a studio to recognize when they've made a fuck up. And Yeah. In general, I know Kevin Feige said he's he's upset. Well, not upset, but he, he kind of is just like he's a little mad that he did do the ancient one as a as a woman. At, he said he kind of wishes he did more of the ancient, you know, uh, classic. Because where's the the original one came from? More of a Tibetan kind Monk, of. Yeah, it was like a Tibetan kinda. monastery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was that was the but, only uh, real difference was that because the 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 ancient one you really don't learn super much about his past comic wise like you get a little bit but he's really no. like this i know we get to see a younger character. one because i did some remember yeah. the younger yeah. doctor strange one not too long ago and the new yeah. issues they you did you get to see uh, him around and you get some of his history just just not a ton yeah not, yeah so like the only big difference really between them was that it was a woman and I, I, that's one of the few well, ones celtic right I guess yeah that, the, was the, a... that was the only thing that, that i got kind of i could have too, even right? taken like, the would it be celtic i don't know yeah i i would have been okay with the whole woman thing the Celtic thing threw me off because Tibetan monastery, mystic arts, but yeah, I just kind of waved my, like I said, I waved my hand. The movie was good enough to kind of make up for it. And the ancient one is not that important of a character in the general Marvel landscape, right? It, it's not like. It's more see, of a setup kind of. Y- yeah, for very Dr. much. Strange. And, and a reference, right? To go back to, to an end game and back to when you need to, but not to have in every movie, not to have in every Doctor Strange no, movie. No, no, no. Yeah, so. I, I I definitely think that was one of their mistakes, um, but they are like I said I think they're pretty good about it and they're generally pretty good about not making the same mistakes twice. Mostly, mostly, 
Um, we'll see how Eternal tur turns out. Because when does that come out? This month? November, oh, no. I think. November. November, you're right. Yeah. November, yep. Uh, the only thing I think we really got coming the rest of this month yeah. is Halloween and... Spider-Man. Spider-Man's Spider December. December. Yep. So oh, yeah, I can't think of anything for Halloween that we have uh, released. I know, oh, Halloween Kills is supposed to be coming out. Um, so we'll... we'll, we'll Check that one out. I feel like there's some other horror movies supposed to come out this year. Um, yeah, that, it's always horror movies. Uh, let's let's I take get, a look. I get ready. I get all excited for the spooky season. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh, this one I heard was actually pretty good, but I haven't checked out. It was The Many Saints of Newark. Oh, I have not heard about that. Um, Adam's Family 2. Oh, yeah. That the came animated out, yeah. one. No Time to Die, the Bond. No, that should be the finish, yeah. Released. Uh, I heard this one too was supposed to be kind of interesting twist on horror was Lamb. Then Halloween Kills, The Last Duel, uh, Dune comes out. That's the other big one that that's comes out this month. That's another one too that's coming out. I was, you know, I've seen Dune before. Like, you know, I've actually never seen the movie, but I've seen the cover art and everything for it um, when I was little, but I never really cared to check it out before. So I don't know I've, if I, I want to go see this new movie. It's the same thing. Like I never really care for Blade Runner either. <laughs> I think, I, and this is going to be one, maybe one of those fringe opinions. I think it's a cult classic. It's not a. Yeah, it's more. I think. Yeah, I think it's a cult classic a, a, at this point. Yeah, and and it's a, and, you know it's pretty good book, which is where it stems from, which is why it was a cult classic movie was because it was based on a book. So everyone who read the book loved the movie or didn't, right? Like however that works. <laughs> When they were more grateful to get movies, no sake. <laughs> no, no. But, um, and so I think Blade Runner also is, like, it's cool and they will get remakes, but they're cult classics. I think they they coast off of a, a large minority of people who think they are super good movies. And then, oh, yeah. And then a, a majority of people who think that they're just pretty good movies. Right, right. Um, Oh, you know, that's one I actually wanted to check out was Last Night in Soho, which I believe oh. was being directed by, yep, Edgar Wright, which a couple things like, um, like, um, Shaun of the Dead is one of the bigger ones. And it's supposed to do Ant-Man when it first came out, but then there was a lot of, uh, creative differences with the studio and stuff. So he, he dropped out of that and, mm -hmm. uh, didn't get, you know, actually get to do his movie but yeah other than that you know if you've seen Shaun of the Dead you know Edgar Wright <laughs> yeah and he does that. oh and he's uh if you've also seen I think uh Baby Driver that's another Edgar Wright movie as well he uh he was a really good director I really like his work um so I'm really excited to check his horror stuff I, I like his horror stuff as well um so we'll check out the this last night in Soho as well it's supposed to be coming out that should be interesting awesome should be a good one. Uh, the only uh, other thing I see on here is Antlers, which is another supernatural horror yeah, one. Yeah, I've been wanting to wait for that, too. That's uh, Guillermo de Taro's one, too. Uh, I always like his work, too. He always does some good uh, supernatural horror movies as well. He doesn't usually, like, do, like, super, super horror. But, like, he, he does still, you know, good. He has concept horror is yeah, what he yeah. does. He does very concept. For me, it's a bit hit and miss. I like most of what he does, but it's... Like, he does a couple good ones, and then there'll be one that I'm just not a big fan of at all, and then he does a couple more good ones, and then he'll do another one that I'm just not a big fan of at all. Um, mm. But, I mean, he's obviously a... Uh... Oh, and the big one, too, is coming out is... Uh, oh, <laughs> Amazon's doing another... Yeah, I know what you did last summer, but it's a series. And Chucky will also be coming out on Sci-Fi and USA Network, I think, on the 12th. Okay. Uh, this month, so I'll be. I really want to check that out too, uh, as well. I think the original voice actor who's uh, does Chucky will be coming to uh, play his uh, his role again. So that should be cool. Uh, we'll definitely check that out. Um, I don't know where it's going to be taking place in the universe because I mean I guess you can't really say because Chucky's, Chucky's really another one where it's like where 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 does it really take place in the timeline of the movies like. Michael Myers yeah. is another one. We don't really know like an actual. Well, time Michael line. Myers like, is they, they, a little better. They skip. Yeah, they skip a couple movies and and then they. I don't know. It's weird. And then like same thing like Jason's. Like, do where do we start there? Yeah, Jason's uh, all over the place. I think Michael Myers <laughs> so probably just, has the best. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but, uh, you can never tell. 
other than that, uh, it, I, we'll see what, what, what they'll do. Because the last one I remember that they did was uh, before they had done that, the Chucky with Mark Hamill. Uh, the, the one before that was the Chuck of Call, or uh, was it the Cult of Chucky? Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that one was actually pretty good. I actually really li- did like that. And uh, it, they kind of did a setup to do another film. So you see, again, I. Is it coming after that part? Is it coming before the film? Before the first one? The third one? Or the second one? Uh, it's really tough <laughs> to say for those, yeah. They, I feel his like face those... is still all nice and good looking, so... I mean, I guess it's after... I mean, be, before, you know, the Bride of uh, Chucky it, and all that. But it not, might not be because... Remember, they did that one oh, movie yeah, after that Chucky, where... They did, yeah, they did they take his, his face, face off and it ended up being yeah. all jacked up. Yeah. So yeah, I, we'll see. I, I really don't know what the, we'll, we'll end up uh, in the timeline here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impossible. <laughs> it, it, it's already convoluted, like I said, but still, it's nice to know kind of where. <laughs> definitely, definitely. But yeah. Other than that, I think that's pretty much all I had to say too for to uh, this week. There wasn't really too too much that came out just yet. Um, just a few announcements here and there, but uh, yeah, can't think of anything else that's coming out here just yet. Uh, I d- <laughs> the one last thing I think we can end on this one because I think it's a f- funny thing. Uh, I just saw news that uh, apparently Marvel India accidentally announced Blade's release date for October 2022. Whether Ooh, that's a, nice. whether that's a mistake in when it's coming out or a mistake right. in if they were supposed to say it, I'm not sure. I just saw that, and uh, I can't wait till Blade comes out. That's gonna be cool to see a new Blade. I just. I think they I got a really, really good actor for him too. They did. I they did. I just I do miss my Wesley Snipes as Blade though. I'll yeah, tell you that right now. I mean, I do, but <laughs> how old is Wesley did a Snipes? Pretty kick-ass now. Blade. Yeah, I, and he's old now. No, 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 he definitely probably yeah couldn't play that role no more. He really did though. He said he wanted to, but they didn't want him back. So yeah, well, that's he's right. like sixty <laughs> years old, so. <laughs> I could see the uh, yeah. But, uh, he, the, it would be you know what would be cool. I don't know. They couldn't really pull that one off. It would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Is he? He's a cameo as somebody, but that's pretty much the only thing I could think of to pull him into the new. That'd be fine with me. Yeah, but uh, I guess it's just because I always have a little special uh, place in my heart for that Wesley Snipes place. Yeah, it's. I mean, it really is the start of Marvel movies. Like definitely, definitely. Even though it's not the start of the MCU, that is the start of Marvel movies. And in general, I'm not gonna lie, the start of superhero movies being popular. Like that's Blade, generally yeah, for yeah. sure. You can, you can say that was the start of it all. And like I said, even saving Marvel from being bankrupt and going out of business. Yeah. Um, Cause before that it was either Batman or Superman and nothing yeah. else. And even those, they yeah. did well, but they did well, they, they weren't, did well, but, but they weren't blockbusters. But Blade was something different. To, you know, like yeah. I said, it was, it hit that R rated R, you know, and it was like, we're going to go for some, you know, we're going to, we're going to go for it. It doesn't matter, you know, if, uh, if we sink, we sink. But they didn't. <laughs> I still remember because I went to see Blade 1 for my birthday. Oh, nice. And I, and I remember because I had to have my father take me in because it was our, right? Like all that shit and like sit with me and everything. Right. And that was like my birthday present was an R-rated movie. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you probably seen that? It was like, oh, what? geez, I was that young. I would have been like, like six. Mm-hmm. I would have been like six because oh, it was 99, my gosh, right? You were young when you were Oh, yeah, but my. I was going to show Isaiah too, but then I was like, ooh, this is probably not a good yeah, movie. Yeah, my, my, my pops <laughs> was a fan of horror movies for my whole life. So I think I started watching horror movies at like four or five years old. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, see, yeah. I, I'm a fan too, but like. Um, I'm still kind of like I kind of keep Isaiah still. A little no, no, bit it's away a it's a good him. idea. I, I do like uh, entry stuff still. Like right now, yeah. he's a little older now, so now I'm starting to show him a little bit more like stuff that kind of will scare him more. So, but uh, I don't know. I, I told him we'll wait off on the other. I I I, I snuck around and I got I <laughs> watched that stuff. But I, you know, the thing is though, they didn't take me to see this stuff. I more have seen it on sci-fi and stuff. So I guess you can say I didn't really get the blend of it all because everything on sci-fi was edited anyways. Yeah. So I wasn't which, really getting the yeah. full, full, full picture or effects. So maybe right. I would, you know, I still well, wasn't really watching too much. It's still yeah. bad, but. Oh, yeah, still, yeah. But... And and thankfully for me, right, like, I, I got to watch the movies and my father only buys uh the the most, whatever the, the cut is he buys that cut yep that's what he does he, <laughs> at least it's better too that he watches it with you, you that know, and that's it. what i was gonna say he was there to kind of like 
context with me and like this is all fake, right? Like, this is all fake, Hito. You don't got to worry about none of this. There's nothing up going to come up and snatch you in the night. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, just all that stuff. Or even, like, the Michael Myers one. He's like, don't, you know, nobody can walk through a 12-gauge shotgun. You know, it's right. like, just shit like that where he's like, look, don't, you're fine. You know what <laughs> I mean? I, <laughs> I mean you watch these things now and you're like, well, I mean, they're scary, but, like, you're like, eh, not too bad no more. I really just enjoy these because, like, again, yeah. you're like, no way nobody can give past the 12 gate. They're done. Actually. Dude, and I find myself on the other side half the time now where I'm like, that guy should be dead. It's like, that guy could not possibly right? live yeah, through that. Right? Like, exactly, just... right. But whereas like, you, know, you bring your logic into the horror movie, right? Like, yeah, no, 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 like, no, no, that no, make no You sense. better stop the whole, you better stop the movie right there. No, you better just end it right here. No, finish it. <laughs> no, for sure. It gets easier. I think me now, like my bigger thing is like uh, jump scares get me. Because yeah. I'm more twitchy, but other oh, okay, than that, okay. but other than that, like honestly, I can't. Maybe one or two, but I can't think of a good horror movie that I've watched in like twenty plus years. Like a a, a movie that genuinely scared me, right? Like there are good horror uh, yeah. movies, oh, yeah, but yeah, when yeah, I say that, it is like, uh, yeah, yeah. Like as an adult, it's a, it's a lot tougher to be viscerally scared watching a movie. Definitely, I think. definitely. Um. But, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So other than that, I think that was pretty much it on our list. Yeah, I think we're good. I I think next week we'll try to tackle some comics. I know we've been saying we'll do it for a while. Oh, but I know, right? We I got. Well, I finally got I the list. I haven't caught up on. Some. I'm I'm <laughs> the same. That's why I keep like letting it like flow. Is I'm like I haven't read anything this week. Uh, I still need to catch up on like six books and start six books. So, yeah, yeah. that's. Um, I'll catch up. We'll, we'll get there. <laughs> We'll get there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that's good for today. Uh, big shout-out to anybody who watched uh, live, and big shout-out to anyone watching on YouTube. We will see you next time for episode 148 of Comic Convos. We're getting close to that 150 mark, man. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar.